Sonny Ferrelli, the Don of the Ferrelli crime family, which was one of the most powerful and fearful mafia leaders in Liberty City. Sonny lived to be 40 years old and is the sixth character of the season. Sonny Ferrelli was born October 25th, 1946 in Liberty City. This young Italian had joined the Ferrelli gang around 1968 or 1969. Uh, nobody knows the year when the Ferrelli gang became official or Sonny's parents, but taking things with a small grain of salt, it could be clear that Sonny's dad vouched for Sonny joining the crime family. Sonny and Tommy had known each other when they were young children. Although Tommy Fursay was born in 1951 and Sonny would be six years old, the bond as Fursay grew up became strong. In 1968, Sonny was 22 years old and Fursay was 17 years old. So, Sonny Ferrelli brought Tommy Fursay into the crime family where Tommy promises to never rat out the family. In Mafia terms, this is an omerta, which means you stay silent. You tell cops about the family or disobey the family and break the omerta, the family would have the right to kill you. As Sonny Ferrelli got older, he gained tons of influence and respect from his crime family. By 1971, the Ferrellis became the most powerful crime family organization in Liberty City. At this point, Sonny Ferrelli became the Don of the Ferrelli Gang. In 1971, Sonny Ferrelli had started to get jealous and paranoid of his friend Tommy Frusetti. And Sonny felt like if anyone could take him out of commission, it would be Tommy. Sonny knows he can't kill Tommy for say himself because he would lose influence with his gang as well as breaking the Omerita code. So Sonny makes a plan to ambush Tommy and get him killed. Sonny called Tommy and told him to go to Harwood and kill a mobster for him. By the time for say got there, eleven men that worked for Sonny were there, at which point Sonny's men all died. Tommy went to prison for 15 years. If Rousset wasn't a loyal man, he could have easily told the officers about Sonny and the family, but he thought Sonny was his friend, and he would break the Omerta Code. We finally enter 1986, and Sonny Ferrelli wants him and his gang to get into the drug trade. None of the other families or mafia gangs would get into this because gangs like the Leones and the Sadakos know how troublesome drugs are, and they stay out of it, at least till the 90s. But that's another topic in itself. Sonny knows Tommy is getting out of prison. Let's watch the introduction cutscene in GTA Vice City to see what Sonny says.
Sunny sent Tommy out to Vice City because his gang, as well as other families of the Mafia, would start talking. And a few would even be afraid of Tommy, which, as Sunny said, it's bad for business. Another reason was to allow for Seti to control the drug trade, as well as the money in Vice City, as Sunny took care of things in Liberty City at the time. Sonny sent two guys with Tommy, named Harry and Lee, to help make the deal happen. Unfortunately, the deal was another ambush, but professional hitmen had killed Harry, Lee, and Victor Vance on the scene. Tommy abandoned the cocaine as well as the money to save himself and his lawyer, Ken Rosenberg. Tommy went to the Ocean View Hotel, where Forsay called Sonny. Let's uh, listen to this cut scene right here. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Sonny is giving Tommy a chance to find out who is responsible for the ambush. Sonny has Lance tell him what goes on in Vice City. In simple terms, Lance is the inside man. A few ways we can prove this is after the mission, Jerry Fury. Sonny gives us a call after seeing Lance Vance for the first time. This raises questions like how Sonny had the number in the first place. Next piece of evidence is after we take out Ricardo Diaz. So he decides to call for Sonny again. Let's listen to this phone call and the last phone call we just talked about. Hey Tommy, it's Sonny. How's the sun tan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm wondering to myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Tommy, remember me? Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call me. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy. Because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. With our madness experience on uncovering details, Lance has told Sonny Ferrelli everything we have done, and yet nobody notices or pays attention to the smallest detail, not even Tommy himself. While Tommy Forse makes more money from his businesses in Vice City, Sonny is getting frustrated and angry and decides to call Tommy yet again. Let's listen to this final call 
that Sonny Frehley makes in the game. Tommy. Sonny. I'll be you are suffering from here, Bob. I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. Thinking about it all with another grain of salt, maybe this was why Lance kept talking to Tommy about a fair slice. As well as Lance was getting greedy, Lance wanted more cash to pay Sonny for him. It's an idea, right? For say's lawyer, Ken calls Tommy because Sonny is threatening to kill his family. After countless warnings and phone calls, Sonny has had enough. So, he sends a couple of loan sharks to go after Tommy's businesses, starting with the print works. As Ernest goes to the ER, Tommy stops all of Sonny's men. Sonny Frehley is sick and tired of Tommy disobeying Sonny's orders. So, he goes to Vice City himself and brings two of his henchmen. Let's watch this final cutscene of the game. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy. I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty on family <laughs> etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man. They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy, watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. As we heard from Sonny Frehley, he did set up Tommy and spent 15 years going up the ranks to power as well as authority. Tommy Frasetti still was the last man standing. Sonny Frehley died in the Frasetti estate on May 15, 1986. He was 40 years old at the time of his death. With his death, the Frehleys were no longer the strongest family in Liberty City. Vice City and everything in Vice now belongs to Tommy. Something I think we all can learn from this episode is that you got to know who your real friends are. Because Tommy thought Sonny was his friend and instead Frasetti went to jail for 15 years. And after all of that, he thought Lance was his friend too. Another thing is that Sonny never cared about Tommy as he had gotten older. <clears throat> I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode and the series so far. If you have enjoyed this, give it a like. And if you are brand new to the channel, like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications. We always need amazing people here, and I hope that you all have had a great Thanksgiving, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Character Analysis.